Hey my YouTubers, today we're going to show you how to sh make my favorite way of uh, pour over coffee. Um, you know, it's just my favorite way of doing it. You don't need the Chemex, you don't need anything fancy. Uh, we just went down and uh, ordered this from World Market. Of course, actually, <laughs> you guys will think I'm plugging World Market. Everything we have in front of you dang near is uh, World Market. Uh, my wife wanted the nice little copper canister to hold the coffee. But uh, yeah, so as was this, it's a nice little stand. It comes with a, uh, it, it comes just like that. Uh, you do have to purchase the extra filters. Uh, instead of doing the Chemex filters that are reusable, um, you constantly throw away. I like the reusable ones. Uh, it's a honeycomb filter. It does quite well. Uh, I went ahead and boiled some coffee or some uh, some water. Um, go ahead and get it ready, and uh, we'll show you how to do it. Of course, we can set our coffee cup right underneath the funnel. And uh, I like to do about a, a good full scoop right in there. You can start to see how much gets really in there, and I uh, would we'll do a little bit more. And uh, yeah, uh, so again, uh, this one for, is from uh, World Market as well, but any kind of kettle will obviously work. I obviously have to do this because, man, this thing gets quite hot over our stove. And uh, but yeah, so the proper way that I've uh, noticed to do is kind of go real slowly and pour. You're going to start to slowly see that coffee bloom up towards you. And then once that bloom happens, let it soak in there. You kind of little do some swirl action. Make sure it gets completely saturated in there. And uh, I come back, I kind of let it drain through, and then uh, we'll, we'll do this two or three times until the whole uh, pour over is done. And uh, this is my favorite way, of course. Uh, I drink it plain. Uh, sometimes I'll throw a little bit of sugar, um, but not too much. Uh, this is just the way I like to do it. It is some of the best coffee that uh, I think you can really make. It's uh, better than all that. Uh, Keurig stuff, all that pre-made stuff, and uh, not to mention it's, uh, it only takes a couple minutes of your day, but nonetheless it makes it kind of a fun little procedure to do as well. Uh, at the end of the day it does, uh, you kind of want to hold it up a little bit, um, but nonetheless it kind of splashes a little bit, but that's what I keep, uh, keep the extra towel around, we'll just kind of do that. Yeah, just kind of keep it going, get a lot of that coffee ground saturated. A couple swirls. Of course, I'm sure there are people out there that can make it a whole heck of a lot better than myself. But uh, this is just one of my favorite methods. And uh, like you said, that's uh, it's kind of boil you some some water, throw some coffee in a funnel and a and the uh, the filter, and there you go. That's all. That's all it really takes. But uh, yeah, just wanted to walk you guys through that. It's fun. I enjoy it, and it's uh, the best cup of coffee I think you can make at home. So hope you guys enjoyed that one, and uh, hope to see you in the next one. See you guys.